And here we go, casting the Go Fish Cam into the beaches off of Pensacola Beach. And it is a fabulously clear day. I'm using a mortician's rig. The snoods or the droppers are actually 12 pound fluorocarbon. And I'm using the shellfish gear floaty jigs with a sand flea cut in half. In the background, you can see a pompano coming into frame. And I want you to see all those little tiny fish that he's going to swim through. He's not interested in my bait. But there are tons of small fish. I can't really tell what they are. But they're covering the bottom of the ocean floor. Here is the full fast frames of the fish. And you're going to see that I'm going to put it in slow first. And then I'm going to come back and put it in regular speed. So you can see how much time you really have to catch these fish. That was a ladyfish. Again, look at all the bait fish. Here we have the faint shadow of some more pompano coming in. This is a, a little school. And there they are. Either they're a little spooked by the go fish cam or they're just not hungry. All those pompano are indeed keeper size fish. You can see how the shellfish gear floaty jig keeps the sand flea suspended. It is a soft float, not a hard float, so it feels more natural when it's eaten. Check out that school. Right by it. Sometimes they'll hit the bead, sometimes they'll hit the float and the bait, but they are just cruising on by. Full speed right here. Look how much time you have really to catch a fish. If they're not hungry, they're gone. It happens so quick. Boom. We'll see a fast little pompano. We got some more pompano. This is so much activity that are in these waters right now. This is the first week in October, the weekend. Coming close, but no cigar right by it. If you've ever fished for Pompano, you know that they're the strongest fighting fish pound for pound in the ocean. They're part of the Jack family and they're so tasty. Again, they are not interested at all in what I've got going on. This is about 9 o'clock during the day. More Pompano. This cast I can't make as far because I'm slinging around eight ounces total with the camera and the four ounce pyramid. This is about 60 feet to 100 feet from shore. That's a big one. That's a big pompano. Long fish. Missed opportunities. Hey, you can't catch them if they're not hungry. Full speed right here. There's that big one, gone. I think it's really important to show you not only to slow it down, but also that full speed so you get a perspective of what it's really like when we're seeing these fish come through. Stingray, boom, gone. How about that thing? Needlefish gar. And he's the only thing that wants to eat my half of a sand flea in my floaty jig. What a bizarre fish really showcases the creativity of God to make so many different species of fish unique in their own way. Here's full speed, boom, gone. Now this is what I'm really excited to show you. I have never seen this fish on camera anywhere. This is the first time I've seen this on an underwater fishing camera. It's a whole school. Do you know what those are? They're not permit. Let's let them come in a little bit more and you'll see. That is a school of palmettas. An unregulated species like pompano in the same family. I've only caught one in my lifetime that was decent enough to keep. Again, I could have kept an 8-incher. But this school 
is pretty big and we have so much more opportunity than we think fishing the Gulf Coast coast of Pensacola Beach to catch a palmetto. If you've caught one before and have eaten it, let me know what it tastes like. But these fish are really mesmerizing. The long fins. It's like a permit that didn't decide to stop growing those top and lower fins. And I would say these fish are probably 12 inches to 13 inches to the fork. They're a really decent size palmetta. And they are just gorgeous and fascinating. We're going to get some close-ups here in a second. Again, this rig brought them in close, but they didn't need it. Here, look at that one. Gosh, what an amazing creature that these palmettos are. Here we go. This one's coming in to show you who she is. Look at the three little lines on the side. That is a palmetta. Those three little lines are on every palmetto fish on the both sides of the fish. Wow. Just amazing. Looks at it. Goes right on by. Would you expect to have seen this type of fish on this video today? Here we go. We're going full speed just to show you. That was long, drawn out, but this is how fast these things are and how much time you really have to get them to try to eat. Look at that. Just coming in and going. Boom. See ya. Here we go. Look at this. Followed up by Permit. A school of Permit. This is all in the same day. It's about a, an hour and 15 minute continual footage in the water. And look at all these fish that came by. Just put that into perspective. That one thinks it's a Permit, but it's a Palmetto that got lost. Here's full speed. These things are, are blistening. I mean, they're just boom, 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 gone. Just like that. Followed up by more Pompano. In and out of frame. Again, this is October. This is what you can expect if you're going fishing. And look at this. Bluefish in the mix with the Pompano. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up. I have more underwater fishing videos. And join me next time right here. We excite to strike. God bless.